Hello, welcome. Um, today we're going to um, learn how to make an animated timer uh, using HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript um, because I want to use one in one of my projects and um, I couldn't find one so I wound up making my own. So what we're going to do is um, create a way to count up or count down um, from 100 down to 0. Okay, and uh, the first thing we're going to do is open your Notepad++ and let me just zoom in so you can see better. Perfect. So let's start with the basics, which will be our um, HTML tag. So we're going to have our doc type, which declares our uh, HTML document and our HTML tags. And let me just save this save as and I'm going to save it as animated.html so we have our HTML tags okay and um, okay so uh, let's create our head tags because we're going to uh, create some CSS and uh, CSS in the head tags. So we're going to put the JavaScript at the bottom of the page. Okay, and let's create our body. And um, I'm going to put the script at the end of the body. I do this because I uh, mainly develop for mobile uh, using uh, PhoneGap. So um, when you develop for PhoneGap, you should uh, put your scripts at the bottom. So you, your uh, CSS your um, body, your all your HTML elements load, and then our scripts will last because we're dealing with a lot less um, memory. So I want to give my UI a chance to load before I start loading um, all my JavaScript. So I usually now put all my JavaScripts at the uh, the end of the body just by habit. Okay, and um, let's create our style tags. I don't usually do this, but uh, this doesn't require a full style sheet. Okay, and uh, let's put our um, basics. Let's make our body in HTML. Let's get rid of the padding and margin. Um, height with 100%. Okay, and we're going to create a, um, a div called timer. So let's create it in our body div id equals timer and uh, a sub div we're gonna see why we need it in a little bit timer inner and let's close them both oops and I deleted it by accident let's go to uh, let's go to our d drive school Okay, so we have everything still good. Okay, so once we have that, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a style for our timer. Let's timer. Uh, let's do position absolute left fifty pixels height thirty pixels. Um, and we're going to do overflow hidden, and I'll show you why in a little bit. And timer inner, position absolute. Um, let's do height auto. And we're going to go back to why the, we are applying these particular styles in a little bit. So um, when you run your page, you should absolutely see nothing. Uh, let's open this with Chrome. Okay, as you can see, nothing's on the screen uh, as we should, as it should be. 
Okay, so now let's create our script. Okay, let's create a script called uh, set timer. So let's go to our bottom in our script tag. Okay, so we have function set timer. Now this is the function name uh, that we're going to use to uh, append some HTML to that timer div uh, dynamically um, and uh, create our uh, transition in a few. So let's uh, first, let's first create a variable for our appending div, which is going to be our timer enter. So var t equals document dot get element by id timer enter. So what this does is says, hey, uh, my variable t is now this element. So we could do things with this element. We could either change its CSS or hide it, show it, animate it append HTML to it, get all its properties, set its properties, etc. So now this is the um, timer inner object. Oh, and let me just change that. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is append some HTML on it. So let's create a loop, a for loop. So for variable i equals zero, i is less than 100, i plus plus. Okay, so what this is saying is um, our variable i equals zero. While uh, i is less than 100, keep incrementing this up. So the i plus plus just keeps incrementing from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll keep going to 100 and then it'll stop. Okay, so uh, until i equals 100, we're gonna do something. We're gonna keep looping. So we're gonna actually want to insert some numbers. So t, that's our timer enter, insert adjacent HTML, which is a JavaScript function to uh, insert HTML. So before end, which is um, it will go sequentially in order from um, zero to 100. And we're going to uh, do after end, which is 100 down to zero or zero to 99. Okay, so before end, uh, now we have span class. We're gonna create a span with a class. And let's call it number holder. Okay. And we are now going to need a variable. So plus i plus, and we will go back to that in a second. And span. And let's close it. Okay, so when we're from. <clears throat> So right here we have a string, which is why it's in gray. So when I uh, close the single tags, now I go to a variable, which is going to be i, because I want 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want all the numbers uh, for my countdown timer uh, or count up timer right now and um, <clears throat> to appear inside the div tags dynamically. Uh, and then I wrap it with my string again uh, to close the span. Otherwise, uh, we're not going to be able to apply style to the class of number holder. Okay, so now. Uh, if we run this and let me just actually, oops, okay. And to run it, uh, after after you create the function, just call set timer at the bottom, and that will call it on page load because um, the web page evaluates all the JavaScript as soon as you load the page. Uh, so that means that you're just calling it. Uh, not exactly great practice, but. <laughs> Uh, we're only running one function, so it's okay. Okay, so now you should see all your numbers from 0 to 99 appear on your HTML web page, okay? Um, that's a start. So what we're going to do is uh, we want to create styles. We don't want it side by side. We want it going from top to bottom. So what we're going to do is create a style for uh, number holder. Okay, so let's copy, ooh, let's copy number holder. And let's bring it to the top in our CSS. Okay, and let's display block. Now, uh, spans are by nature uh, inline elements. That means they have no block space. That means they're side by side. Um, if I inspect element, okay, if I inspect element and I add a style to it.
and I add a width of a thousand pixels, it doesn't matter. It won't. Ha it cannot take uh, a width parameter because it is a uh, inline element. Now, if I said uh, display inline dash block, it will have that width because it is now uh, inline, which means it will appear side by side. But it will also have its own block space, uh, meaning that it could take a width parameter and a height parameter as well. Okay. So by default, they're span. I mean, there are uh, inline elements, so we're going to create them as blocks, um, and let's see what we have. So let's, okay, so now it will uh, have its own block space and, uh, and create a line break, okay? And now we have uh, all our numbers uh, on top of each other, okay? And we have a, I have a syntactical error. Oh, and I forgot the I in timer, which means that if it's not position absolute, um, because position static can't have things uh, such as uh, a left or a right or left or top, and it cannot have overflow hidden. So I had to make it position absolute, and then I could have overflow hidden, which will uh, only show one number at a time. Okay. Uh, right now it shows nothing, but let's see, we have a, okay, and we just have to add a uh, width of 20 pixels, and let's make this uh, 25 pixels of height, and let's give our number holders a font size of 25 pix, okay, and now we should see uh, our, just our zero appear. So. Uh, technically, the numbers are going all the way down, but we can't see them because our timer is now hiding them or giving the appearance that they don't even exist. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is let's go back to our um, our uh, Notepad plus plus. So now that we have the information um, in our um, Div. It's time to do something with it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a class um, because we're gonna want to animate it. So we're gonna create a um, a class to add uh, that is going to have our animation name in it. So let's uh, make a class called Translate. Uh, and uh, we are gonna add some um, parameters. So we're gonna have WebKit animation name special webkit animation duration and I'm gonna make it a hundred seconds because we have a hundred numbers uh, you can also do this with JavaScript this is just the uh, very basics of what we can do webkit animation timing function and I'm going to set it to linear, but you can set it to ease and ease out. Um, Bezier cube. Uh, there are a couple. Okay, uh, and that's it. So now we have our transition class. So it's it's looking for a animation name, but we didn't create a uh, keyframe animation or a uh, CSS function to uh, perform our translation. So we had to create one. So let's create a um, a function called special. So uh, at WebKit um, keyframes special. So now we have our uh, CSS animation function. Okay, so within our function, we have um, a few parameters. We have our uh, steps. So we're going to create steps. At 0%, we want our uh, div or element to be at one point in the animation, and at 100%, we want it to end somewhere else. If you have more steps, uh, the down point is if the math is not correct, uh, the animation becomes choppy because say you want uh, have you know 50% of the animation done at 30%, then it has to speed up to get to 100% by the end of 100%. So uh, just for this example, we're going to use zero and 100%. Okay, and we are going to uh, animate some properties. So we're going to uh, animate WebKit. Uh, transform translate 3d 
Now, Translate 3D uh, gets hardware acceleration in iPhone and uh, Android, even though Android is kind of shaky on keyframe animations and CSS, it's better. Um, so, at the beginning of our animation, we want our uh, translation point to be at 0%. And um, WebKit Transform Translate 3D 0 minus 100% 0. Okay, so our first parameter is our x-axis. That means from left uh, from left to right. We don't want it to move left to right. We only want it to move up and down on its y-axis is why we're translating from 0% y to negative 100 because if I went 100, it goes down and we want it to go up to uh, show the numbers going upwards. Okay? And this is our z-axis, which is for 3D translations, but we don't need that for now. Okay, uh, the only one thing I'm going to add is uh, WebKit Transform. Now let's add it here. I'm going to add our ending value here. So what happens is if I don't, uh, once this keyframe animation is done, it will reset back to zero. So in order to keep the position or have a position that I want as a, a final ending point, I'm going to put the final translation point uh, in my new class. Okay, so when I run it, it will start at zero, it will go to 100, and it will stay at negative 100%. If I put negative 10, it will bounce back to negative 10%, but we don't want that. We want it to stay all the way at the top, okay? Um, and let's, um, let's run it. Oh, first we have to use JavaScript to uh, add the uh, translate up class to our uh, timer enter, so it translates up and carries all the numbers inside of it. So let's do something. Let's uh, Now that we have the variable t, let's add uh, the translation, uh, translate up. So class name plus equals. So what this does is just adds, um, class name is a function to add a class um, or a class name equals, it would replace, but since I'm using plus, it'll just add the class name. Uh, and you just put translate up. Okay, so let's run it. And now that we're running it, and let me see if I could, there we go, I'm zooming in. Uh, you should see that your uh, numbers are now animating upwards and will go all the way to 100. Uh, but usually we don't want to, um, we don't want to count up, we want to count down. So let's fix that in our uh, tutorial over here. Let's go here. So we are going to, instead of using before end, we're going to use after end, which will uh, make our numbers start at 99. Uh, and then, oh, and hold on one second. Okay. Okay, so to fix that, we are going to uh, change something. So we're going to go to our uh, loop, and we're going to say i equals 100. While i is greater than 0, let's decrement i, which will keep subtracting. So it will start at 100, go all the way down to 1. Okay? And uh, insert in, in JSON HTML beforehand. And let's run our script. And we'll get this. Okay, and obviously I need to make um, our uh, timer a little bigger in width. So let's make it 50. Okay, and you should see that um, we have our uh, timer that is uh, now going from 100 down to zero. Okay, and you can play with the values the color, the animations, uh, you can add a stop and uh, start button, uh, but this is the basis of how to create a um, animated timer using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript.